Good afternoon, Professor Anderson, classmates, and other faculty members who came here today to listen to their presentations. My name is Stefano Durante, and I am a senior here at AIC. For my internship, I interned at the Cerami Center for Career Development. So the AIC Career Development Center, we specialize in helping students on their path towards a successful future. Some of the services offered are resume and cover letter building, work study opportunities, alumni help, and scholarship opportunities. At the uh, Career Development Center for Success, um, we like to help students get onto to a path of success that they will find helpful during their time here at AIC and also when they get into the workforce after they're done college. At the Center for Success, we, we tend to have an open arms feeling of AIC students. We like to welcome them in and try and get to know them before we even get to working with them. It's all about the little uh, familiar sayings and feelings that you feel with the other students that uh, help them better familiarize yourself with them and make the process when building resumes or even building relationships, um, it helps create a stronger bond between uh, faculty and AIC students. So my three learning objectives for, for my internship, the first one was to overlook resumes and help students make them better for their internships and jobs. What I wanted to do with this was be able to see a resume, overlook it, and be able to make the changes necessary for students that they can bring with them to uh, job interviews or um, career fairs, something that they can really treasure and really expand on as they go through even their work, work life. Helping students with their resumes was a big uh, point of emphasis for me because I wanted to uh, be able to look at my resume and really make it better so when I'm done college, I, I have a better understanding of what, what to put on it and what uh, work companies and employers would want to see. Second learning objective is was to make connections and learn from others. At the AIC Ceramic Center, um, we, we really talked a lot about making connections with students, uh, alumni, faculty members, to really create a strong bond and something you can go to them for future things to work on or even projects that you need help with. Um, making connections and learning from others was a big point of emphasis for me because I wanted to really uh, expand my knowledge of career development, but also really open up myself from, from my shy nature and um, be able to talk to others and really make a connection that I can expand on later in life. The third learning objective was to overlook statistics and create analysis for alumni. While I was at uh, the Ceramic Center, I, I learned a lot about learning from alumni and talking to alumni and just talking to other people to create a better experience here at AIC for students. Um, overlooking statistics, what I learned in my stats classes through my psychology major here at AIC, and it really helped me create analysis for what alumni thought about AIC. So I just want to touch on this a bit uh, for everyone in this class and even across uh, America right now. Internships during a pandemic were a big thing where a lot of students were doing remote, which was a pretty unique situation this year. First thing I want to talk about was the connections were a lot harder to make because of lack of social time with people. Uh, learning from my, from my employer, um, the starting center was always a place where the doors were wide open and people would come in throughout the day to have coffee or work on the computers. Um, this year was a bit different just because doors had to be closed and uh, there wasn't as many students on campus coming to the Center for Success. So it made the connections a lot harder, but when you did get them into the office or into the center, um, you, you treasure that time more with the students because of the lack of social time you got. Second was problems we had allowed to 
find new solutions to new problems. Um, you know, setting up for uh, Apex classes was a bit different this year, just based on the fact that we couldn't go to classes to do these presentations anymore. Uh, you have to do it over Zoom and make it fun and appealing for the students to be able to stay in contact with them throughout the whole Zoom session, but also make it an experience for them where they actually learn and, and enjoy it and would want to come back to for, uh, future Apex class presentations. Third was it created a diversity of different ways to connect with students, alumni, and faculty, making those unique connections. Big thing when you're talking about uh, success for careers is always about making those connections with other people and really making lifelines that you can help further yourself. This year was a bit different where a lot of it was over uh, Zoom calls or, or calling or even emailing. Um, you wanted to make yourself familiar with those people but also create a space for them that felt safe if they were to come into the office. So the experience itself was definitely a unique one for me. Um, you know, working at the Career Development Center was pretty cool to see what they do on a daily basis, but also how they uh, act with students and uh, contact with them every day. So it allowed for me to create a new professional image for myself. It, it helped me kind of come out of my shell of being a shy person and really contacting with students and, and faculty and making, making myself more available to them, but also to kind of uh, create a new image for myself where I was kind of more outgoing and, and wanted to um, create the conversation with other people. Secondly was it pushed me outside of my comfort zone of being shy. Just like I related to on the other point, um, I was also a person who, who wanted to keep to myself and always wanted to just let the other person uh, start the conversation. Being at the Ceremony Center, I kind of helped myself um, find a different, different point of view for me and allowed me to get outside my comfort zone and really start conversations. It gave me a better understanding in how career development works and how it benefits students after college. Our, our surrender for success is incredible and the stuff they deal with every day is just trying to make the students' lives better here on campus when looking for jobs or help with resumes, but also they take the time to work with students so that after they're done their college experience here, they're, they're really set up for success in a way that other schools aren't. Fourth was it allowed me to work on my skills of resumes, video production, and statistics. You wouldn't think of career development as a, as a place where you're going to look at videos or um, even work on statistics, but being at the Center for Success it gave, me, gave me a challenge each and every day uh, where I was building resumes or overlooking resumes to help students uh, better themselves when they get out to the workforce. Secondly, video production, um, I am a calm communications minor and it really allowed me to show my skills of video production and help uh, introduce new programs at the, at the Center for Success. And lastly, with statistics, I will, I will gain insight into that a little more further into the presentation. So my main project um, at the Career Development Center was I helped look at alumni surveys and created a presentation for the school. A lot of this was looking on uh, Excel spreadsheets with results from a survey that they had done on 2018 and 2019 graduates. I used my background knowledge of statistics to be able to make a spreadsheet that had all the stats and really dummy coded it down, but also then took the results and made an analysis of the results in a Word document that really made it clear to what the, the school wanted for alumni and how they can kind of better the, the school experience for AIC students. I then presented the findings to career development staff and the benefits it can have on future students um, using a Word document and uh, using charts to explain myself and also explain 
um, what the alumni thought of being at AIC and, and their experience here. So during my time at my internship, I completed two different tests. So the first test I completed was the strong, which is the strong interest inventory. My, my results showed RSA, which meant I'm a, I'm a realistic person. I'm very social and I'm very artistic, meaning I, I like to create and like to uh, use my creativity to better myself and better the people around me. The strong um, helps find patterns that describe your work personality. This gave me a great insight to who I am and kind of what my, my best uh, interests were when going out into the job force. The second test I did was the MBTI, which is the Myers-Briggs type indicator. And my code was ISFP, which means that I'm introverted. So I focus on the inner world to better myself, but also better the people around me. S means sensing. So I use uh, the five senses in my body to take on the world and really stay in the moment when uh, when doing tasks. F stands for feeling. So my feelings are, I make decisions on my values and I like to keep true to myself and true to who I am when doing things and also when I'm doing work. Last was perceiving. So I have a, a flexible approach to life where I can adapt on the go and do a project. I could be doing one project and something could come up and I could really just be flexible and start doing another task without being told to. So during my time at uh, the Career Development for Success, I, I did a video project um, to help market the Career Development Center and the new P3 program at AIC. This kind of showed my creative side that we saw in my strong test. Um, the, the informational video on the P3 program I thought was very well done and also it let me interact with um, my colleagues and, and a student to be able to do this video project. I'll, uh, I'll put it on right now for everyone to watch. Are you looking to add meaningful experiences and relationships to your resume prior to graduation? Are you a sophomore in the School of Business, Arts, and Sciences? Are you not an athlete, theater major, or health science major? Then the P3 program may just be for you. Join us at the Career Development Center for a Zoom info session. Learn about the P3 program and how it can set you up for success. See you there! So impact of the psychology courses uh, from here in my time at AIC, first one was physiological psychology. And it kind of used my concepts of behavior, picking up on students' feelings during resume and cover letter edits. Um, being in with the students kind of gave you a good feeling and uh, of who they are and, and who they want to become. But also picking up on how students react to certain PowerPoints and negative and positive reinforcement. Uh, students, who technically came in and were kind of um, standoffish a bit, you kind of had to work them into being there and, and kind of creating a positive experience for them. And the second one was statistics and advanced statistics. These classes helped me learn how to develop a hypothesis and to work with it. Um, also to look at surveys and analyze them. Uh, this gave me the the skills when I was doing my statistics and for the for the alumni surveys. It also taught me how to use statistic databases to create analysis and also use results to create a summary and write up a report on the statistics found. 
So quick note, after graduation, um, I look to play professional hockey, but even after hockey ends, I want to obtain my master's degree in psychology, but also then go get a doctorate degree to become a sports psychologist and be able to help athletes like myself kind of find their mental skills and um, use a different aspect of sports through their mental games and everything else. So summary to sum it up, the experience shaped my knowledge around career development and how it works and how it can better help students here at AIC. Secondly, it gave me an insightful look on how to help students and how to be a, a person that they want to come to, but also it, it allowed me to um, kind of give me a better view on how to help people, not just students. And lastly, it helped give me a platform to help students and learn how to better serve them for even when I'm not at the Creative Development Center, uh, maybe helping freshmen uh, through stuff they need or being able to uh, help a fellow teammate on, on how to navigate AIC and what's better for them. So if uh, any questions uh, today, please, please ask them now. And uh, thank you for listening today and uh, have a happy Thanksgiving and stay safe.